All right, welcome everybody to the first player Google Plus Hangout of 2013. I'm Amanda Balionis, host of PGA Tour Today on PGATour.com, and it's a rookie hangout. You're going to see a lot of new faces in 2013, especially this week at the Sony Open in Hawaii. And right now we're joined by Donald Constable, one of our rookies, and uh, everyone else, introduce yourselves. I am Jesse Wadillo. I'm an uh, amateur fan. I try to watch every tournament, so... You know, just happy to be here. Thanks. Uh, my name is Amal Yajnik. live in a very cold Brookline, Massachusetts right now, so I'm kind of jealous of everybody out in Hawaii. Uh, <laughs> big PGA Tour fan, uh, looking to learn more about the rookies tonight. All right. And, of course, we're joined by DJ Piowski, who is our social media connoisseur, so he'll be uh, helping us navigate with fan questions, so send them our way if you have them. But, Donald, let's start with uh, kind of just introducing yourself to everybody. I know you are from... Uh, you went to University of Minnesota. I believe you're from there. So let's talk about your journey on to the PGA Tour. I did. Um, I'm Donald Constable from Minneapolis, Minnesota. I um, actually started at University of Texas. Um, I was there for two and a half years. I then transferred back to Minnesota for my last year and a half. Um, finished up school. got a degree in sociology. And then um, stayed amateur through my last summer. and just turned pro at the end of August, actually. You uh, were you're in the last class of guys earning your card through Q School. You went from start to finish. You went through the most grueling process of it all. Came down to a five-foot putt for par on the 18th hole. You needed to make it. Do you think you're going to feel that kind of pressure again? You knew. Did you know at that time that five-footer was to make or break your card? I didn't know exactly if that five-footer meant my card, but I kind of had a general idea of what I needed to shoot the day before I shot one under and moved one position backwards. So I figured if I shot two or three under, I'd probably move forward. Um, I knew I was close, um, but didn't know exactly what it was for. Well, it seems like you're pretty good under pressure, so we'll see how that works out, especially in week one. Uh, let's start off with any questions that you guys have for Donald. I have a question, Donald. As an amateur, a lot of us have a favorite club we go to, even when the yardage is not exactly right. Do you have a favorite club you like to go to that you like to hit? Is it a wedge? Is it a six iron? What is your club of choice when anything's in question? Um, to be honest, I like the driver. I usually hit the driver pretty good. So um, being from Minnesota and hockey player, kind of letting it loose, I like hitting the driver. But if I had to go with an iron, I'd probably say a pitching wedge. Um, you know, anywhere from 120 to 150 I can hit it. If I really want to jump on it, um, you just can hit it. A lot, of, a lot of different shots with it, or I feel like I can, it's a club I like to go to. Thanks. Uh, I guess I'm going to stay in the equipment realm and say, it uh, looks like you got the Adams Golf hat on right there. Uh, any new stuff for 2013 in your bag, or is it something where you're carrying over stuff from last year? What's going on with that? Yeah, I actually got, I actually got a mixed bag. Um, I'm with Taylorman and Adams, so I'll be carrying their, their driver, 3-wood, and actually carry a 5-wood as well, as I don't carry an Adams hybrid. Um, I kept everything in my bag as it was through last year, which entails Nike irons. Um, I threw in new title wedges um, just over the past two months, and then um, I roll it with a two-ball odyssey. So everything's pretty similar. I want to keep things basic and as simple as possible to make the transition for this year. Adams Golf just came out with their uh, new hybrids. I had a chance to go down there in Texas a couple of weeks ago, and it's they're going to kill me if I don't get it right, but the double-slotted Right, that's what their new thing is. It has. Do you want to explain a little bit what what that is? Yeah, to be honest, I actually haven't hit the product yet. Um, I just just switched over to Adams and, and Taylor made. So um, they gave me some stuff at uh, final stage right after I was done. Um, they didn't have any of the new stuff out here. I think they might get in this afternoon, so I might be able to hit it. But from what I've from what I've heard, it's um, one of the best out there. So. I can make contact, so I can only imagine what a real player could do with that. Uh, you know, it's your first week out on the PGA Tour. You want to tell us the coolest thing that has been going on this week so far, other than the fact that you're in Hawaii and you're a professional golfer now? Yeah, no, it's not bad being out here. It's probably, I don't know, 20 degrees back home and cold and snowing, so it's nice to get out there. Um, just kind of being around all these guys, you know, you've watched them on TV for so many years and idolizing, wanting to play with them, and finally you're out here with them and just kind of hanging out with them. It's just cool to be around them all. All right, well, I think uh, Chris Reimer behind you is saying that you're getting off easy right now. I think uh, there's other people waiting to talk, but I'm sure we'll be talking to you the rest of the season. Good luck this season. Good luck this week. Perfect. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Good luck. Thanks, Donald. Thank you. He did get off easy. He didn't even have to go to uh, the red hat. Not know? even the crazy <laughs> red hat. <laughs> 
It's got to be just uh, next up. We got Sir Double L Luke List coming up. Awesome. Who do we, who do we have? Second. Luke, who is this? Luke List. Oh. Luke, welcome. Thanks for having me. You're a uh, a late addition to the hangout here. You weren't you weren't on our original roster of of players. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, I just uh, you know, I uh, signed my check at the pool and then jumped down here real quick. <laughs> Uh, well, Luke, let's start. We'll start with the easy questions. Uh, we're seeing all new faces. Obviously, this is the first week full field event. A lot of fans will be watching, kind of wondering who is who, who's what, what's your story. So, why don't you give us kind of your story and your journey to the PGA Tour? Wow, how much time do we have? Uh, <laughs> give me the abridged version. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm 27 years old. It's taken me a few years to get out here. I've been on the Web.com tour for three years. Kind of progressed and uh, yeah, out here this year. Uh, what's uh, maybe the coolest thing about being out in Hawaii right now? Any uh, players that you saw a little bit starstruck? Anyone you've struck up a friendship with already? Anything like that? I honestly just started sweating a little bit. I'm, I'm good buddies with Keegan Bradley, and he kind of told Phil I've been talking trash about a uh, Tuesday game. So looks like uh, Tuesday at San Diego we're going to have a little uh, little action going. So I go start practicing. <laughs> Keep us uh, posted on that. We'll let, we have a couple fans in the hangout with us right now. So, uh, guys, take it away. Uh, I'm Jesse Widello. It's nice to meet you. Do you have more? First question is: Are you a fader or a drawer of the ball? And what is your go-to shot off the tee? If you had to hit a drive, would it rather be a fade or a draw? Definitely a big draw. I've always played that my whole life. Um, I'm working on kind of just hitting a lot of hold shots with the irons, but with the driver and the uh, longer clubs, definitely a draw. So that's my go-to. Hey, uh, my name is Molly Ajik. I'm from uh, Brookline, Massachusetts, and I uh, just had a question. You know, um, I follow a lot of the guys on Twitter and that sort of thing, and uh, you know a lot of the guys from uh, Callaway are really talking you up, you know, playing their new stuff uh, this year, and uh, maybe not as many rookies are getting that sort of notoriety. Uh, how how's that feel, you know, to be talked about as one of their guys that they're really looking to with that company this year? Yeah, it's cool. They have some really good product coming out, and uh... – it's really flattering to be mentioned, to, you know, with some other great uh, former staff players. But uh, I've got to go for this to make it worthwhile. Uh, I think the, you know, the marketing end, I'm a little different than most guys. I don't like to uh, talk too much about golf. I've got a lot of other interests. I think they're kind of spinning that angle a little bit, and uh, hopefully I can back it up. Yeah, Luke, I follow you on Twitter, so why don't you give all the fans out there your Twitter handle, get your followers up. Yeah, let's do it. Sir Double L. Um, I rarely tweet about golf. Um, I just like to kind of talk about other stuff. So golf's a lot of fun, and there's a lot of stuff out there that I like to do also. You were uh, hugely successful on the Web.com tour, and we, we talk a lot about how the Web.com tour really seems to prepare everybody for the PGA tour. For you, what do you think is going to be that big moment that maybe you hold on to from Web.com tour to this year? Yeah, getting my first win early um, in April last year was definitely one of the moments that I really uh, hold on with you this year. But, for the most part, just kind of the consistency I had is something I really think will uh, pay off this year on the big tour, is just consistency. So that's something I'm really hoping to uh, establish myself as a player out there. Any, uh, any players in particular you're looking forward to maybe being paired up with, maybe nervous about being paired up with? Yeah, you know, there are some fun ones. Um, I, I wouldn't say nervous. I'm excited to, you know, obviously to play a Tuesday match with Phil or to be in Sunday with, with Tiger or Rory or something like that. But um, you know, I'm fortunate to... Um, play in Florida with a lot of those guys and see them on a daily basis. So it's um, the nervous factor won't really be there, but it'll be the you know the circumstance that I'll definitely be uh, nervous about. God, all you guys never never claim to have those nerves. I don't know if I believe it, but we yeah. have a I think we have a hat full DJ of some crazy questions. So <laughs> we're gonna give you one. See see how you do with it. Yeah, we've got uh, questions, but we've also got some just zany questions and use. Uh, first question is, which of golf's most famous shots do you most wish you would hit? Oh, famous shots. Um, I mean, the whole one iron is pretty sweet at Mary, and that's got to go back to uh, got to go back to that one, I think. You're a, a scholar of the game, then. You're, you I wouldn't say that. that. I just my grandpa gave me the picture, and I, I don't even know where it is anymore. But <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be a scholar at all in golf history. So that's that's about all I have. <laughs> Any guy? Any any more questions for you guys? I don't want to monopolize the whole thing. 
Uh, let's I, just, uh, I guess for me, you know, you said you have a bunch of different interests. Is it kind of hard, obviously, being in Hawaii to sort of focus in on, okay, this is my first event with everything else that you can do out there? No, I mean, I had the whole off-season to really focus on my other interests. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is really, we're very fortunate to be here. And, I mean, you look at our entire schedule and just keep bopping around really cool places. So, you know, you have, you have Monday and Tuesday to kind of rein in your focus a little bit and uh, get ready. So just out of curiosity, what is your interest that gets the most interest on Twitter? It's kind of a play on words, but. Oh, man, that's a good question. Um, I don't know. I'd have to say just kind of I, I take some interesting pictures sometimes and kind of throw those out there with some sarcasm. Uh, I've got a couple of alter egos that I've been naming my golf clubs, so that's, that's been getting some attention from the Callaway guys. So that'll be, I'm trying to get rid of all the numbers on my clubs and just have names. So we'll see that goes. Awesome. Can you give us some of your uh, favorite club and favorite name? Yeah, Chet, Chet and Alan are my two uh, little go-to alter egos, and that comes from uh, just kind of fun uh, late-night activities. And the uh, some of the other ones are pizza and pool and uh, uh, fat expletive. So uh, <laughs> a lot of fun stuff you have to tune in to see. So Ricky Fowler has the uh, call me maybe stamped on his wedge. We're going to see some names stamped on your clubs? Yeah, yeah. There, no, I, I, I actually, I think I was the first person to hashtag a club, so I'll take claim to that. He, he can have the call, maybe, but uh, I've got some good ones coming out next. All right, you heard it here first. Ricky Fowler was following you to begin with, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, good luck the rest of the season, and good luck this week. Thanks, Good luck. Good luck. Appreciate it. Thanks, Luke. He's got the uh, hashtag Jeep Life, I believe, right? Uh, next, next we got Next up, we got Derek Ernst. I'll bring him right over, all right? Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. We pulled, uh, we pulled a good one out of the red hat, so we're, we're ready to go here. For... Yeah. Oh, you did? Yep, we got a good question ready for you. All right. Good. Derek? Hey, Derek. Hey. I'm Amanda. This is uh, DJ Piowski. He's with the PGA Tour, also uh, our social media. And we have a couple fans in here for you if you guys want to introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Jesse. I'm from North Carolina. I'm just an amateur fan, but I love the PGA Tour. Right. Hey, uh, hey, my name's Amal. I'm from uh, Massachusetts. Just uh, looking forward to meeting and learn more about you. All right, Derek, we're going to start easy. Uh, you know, obviously the big theme this week is we're going to see a lot of new faces. It's the first full field event, a lot of rookies out there. So. Why don't you kind of tell everybody your story and your shortened journey uh, on your on the way to the PGA Tour? Um, I've been playing golf since I was about 11 years old. Um, grew up in Clovis, California. Went to Clovis East High School. Uh, got recruited. Went to UNLV. Uh, graduated in four years. Uh, hotel management degree. Um, and it all happened once after that. Cause I just graduated in May. So. Um, just played amateur golf actually all the way through August, and then turned pro. Played uh, two uh, what was it Web.com uh, Monday qualifiers, and then another Fries.com uh, Monday qualifier. Got into the Fries, so that was my first PJ event, um, and then qualified for the tour in December. UNLV, you guys are having quite the presence now. Andres Gonzalez, Ryan Moore, you have a relationship with those guys? Uh, I know Andres really well. He actually has the same birthday as me, May 16th, so we always joke around with that. It's a scary, scary thing. <laughs> All right, well, I know we have a lot of questions uh, on Twitter. So, DJ, what, what do we got? Yeah, we've got a couple good ones uh, coming in from Twitter. Um, let's see. The first one from at G Adair uh, wants to know, if you could only win one tournament your whole career, just one, uh, one would it be and why? Uh, from the Masters, because it'd be the most pristine, and you know you were having a good week of putting. <laughs> that, was, that was easy, DJ. We can do better than that. Come on. Right, let's let's try and find another one here. Um, all right, here's, here's a little tougher one. From uh, at Mark John Lowe wants to know which course that's hosting a tour event are you looking forward to playing the least? Not because it's a bad tournament, because it's a difficult golf course. What do you, what do you look? Looking forward to at least. Well, I don't even know what tournaments I'm going to get into, so it's kind of hard. <laughs> Let's be optimistic. But it's every single one, then the least. Um, Which one intimidates you the most, I guess? We'll say that. What's that? Which one intimidates you the most? 
Um, I don't know. I don't even. I didn't even really follow the PGA Tour when I was like, just a couple months ago. So like, I don't even know. I don't even know what the tournaments are that are coming up or anything. I don't, I just know the first four that I'm playing in, and that's it. Um, how about how about uh, uh, Pebble? Because there's the three courses, and I haven't played any of the three. I've never played Pebble, Monterey, or Spyglass. Let's talk about this course a little bit, though. It's it's not an easy one, and uh, we talked about this a little bit earlier. In the last three seasons of the Sony Open, no rookie has carded a top ten finish here. That's kind of crazy. Have you you've obviously had some practice rounds and stuff? Tell me a little about what you saw on the course today. Um, that's kind of surprising that no no rookies have gotten top ten. Um, well, maybe because it's the first like, tournament of the year for them, um, but. Uh, the greens are pretty quick, actually, um, for how for, for the, how windy it is here right now. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to die down or not, but uh, the greens just seem they're quick, but they're fair. They're not like going to blow off the green or anything because the wind's not that not as bad as last week. Um, but I don't know. I'm just excited. I want to go get started and see how my game you know fares up to everyone else. All right, guys, you have any questions? I I have a question. My name's Jesse. I'm from North Carolina. Uh, you mentioned putting. Are you, and you mentioned putting about the Masters and on this course. Would you consider putting the best part of your game, the worst part of your game? Could it improve? Where would you rank putting in your overall game? I think putting uh, inside of 10 feet is, like, my best part of my game. Um, Coach Knight uh, from UNLV, he's, like, a big putting guru guy, and uh, that's one of the reasons why I went to UNLV also because when I was an amateur, uh, like, 15 to 17 years old, my putting was what held me back. And uh, once I got to UNLV, actually my freshman year, I was number one in putting for stats. Uh, in college golf, so um, putting is definitely a big strong suit of my game. Yeah. Uh, something, something I've always wondered about, like we hear on TV all these people shouting all kinds of different stuff, uh, you know, when you guys are, you know, on a par five, like getting the hole or mashed potatoes, all that kind of stuff. Do you guys notice that at all, or is it just like what is going on over there and you're just in your zone and you don't really notice it? Uh, no one's ever done that to me yet because... <laughs> Um, no one. Uh, hopefully, they will yell mashed potatoes in my backswing or something like that, just for fun. But uh, I don't know. I think it does. It wouldn't bother you because you're so focused on uh, the shot that you're hitting, and I don't know. You get in the bubble or the zone, and um, you might you might realize it after. Like, um, what did he just say? You know, something like that. But I don't think it affects anyone at all. Well, you said you uh, didn't really watch the PGA Tour, which we're not going to hold against you at all until a, <laughs> until a couple of weeks ago. But what do you do in your spare time when you're not when you're not focusing on golf? What do you like to do? Uh, I play the drums and I play the guitar. Um, I like going shopping, which is not 